Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to It's a Daily. As you know, it's your boy Julio back at it again with another video for your Fox Body Mustang. Well, my Fox Body Mustang. 92 5.0 convertible. As you can see from the recent videos and all that. If you're new, you stop by, don't forget to click on the like and well click on the thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for more future content. Uh, right now we're almost done with restoring this car, so it's pretty cool. And like I said, we're in phase two of this project. Um, I tell myself like every day, like I I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm gonna make a video about it. Never do, but for sure, after this video that I posted, you will see a full video of like phase two, and a good majority of it has are will most likely already be done. So, going to phase two, as you can see, I have quite a bit of boxes right here. This is not even like, I guess this is get like 50% of what I plan on doing. Um, just a whole bunch of restoring stuff, which you can see, and you can see it's from parts from CJ Ponies, parts from LMR. And then another one right here that I got from eBay, which in order to get these, you only could get them on eBay. So it's pretty cool. And this is this is where it leads on to this video where this is what's going to be part of phase two. And I'm going to show you all. When you open up, I already opened it just to make sure everything was there. So when you open up, it comes in just like this. You know, scratch that off. Boom, boom, comes like that. And then I thought one thing that shows you like how professional this company is or this person whoever makes these how they are and like how precise they are they are and just like make sure everything's perfect for your car uh, well for this for their product so it doesn't get damaged so it's a box inside a box which I thought was pretty funny and pretty cool for me uh, but you raise these up and as you know right now I got well I just replaced my headlights they got a smokish look to it now. And in order to match that and get it more aesthetic and more natural look, I went ahead and replaced the tail lights. As you can see, it's cover R for the right side and then L for the left side, which I already opened everything up. I just came back from out of town. And so, comes wrapped in bubble wrap. And then, oh, I just now saw this. What is this? Are these light bulbs? Does he, does he include light bulbs? Hold on. I get it this, this is like my first time actually so this is like my first time actually taking everything out and see what's in it from what it looks like it looks like light bulbs so I guess I gotta change the light bulbs when we if I can get it on box the heck there you go Oh yeah, so he actually does include some light bulbs. So that's really cool, the company that does this, that's really dope. Um, the only thing is, I don't know which one those go to. Hopefully it's like some kind of instructions, which I do not see. Take off this tape right now, we'll go on the right side. Open this up. I guess he gave you extra light bulbs, just in case. Oh. Actually, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so once you unwrap it from the bubble wrap, this is what it looks like, just like from the headlights. You know, they got the little hose um, covered just so nothing can get in, no dirt and debris. And what it looks like, it just looks like, oh, okay, it looks like four bolts. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, or six. Six bolts you got unscrewed from your car. Um, but it should all naturally fit in pretty well. It's just like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh, well, we're going to find out what these go to once we take everything apart. Um, so that's what we do. That's what everything looks like. Oh, yeah, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Smoked out taillights. It looks so sick in my opinion. I I like this a lot. So what we're going to do is go ahead and head downstairs and then start unscrewing. And hopefully it's all fits and we'll get back with y'all and see what it looks like. All right, everybody. So what it looks like, you need a 11 millimeter socket. And basically what you do is, this comes right off. Uh, you just pop it right off. Uh, you just be careful because you don't want to break these as well. I mean, I don't really care about mine because this looks like this needs to be replaced anyways. It's cracking, you see. So, from once you get there, you can go ahead and pull some of it off just like that. And from there, you can see everything from your lights. And all you can do is just lefty loose, you righty tighty. There's two over there, one here, uh, one right here. And then two over there as well. And these just look like they just plug and play. You just turn them left, 
come right out just like that see and it should all fit perfectly where they belong just like that that comes out and they go the same way as the original one as well just like that sweet so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hand and plug everything and see what happens see what it looks like get back with y'all in the few i guess we can go ahead and look what it looks like now like i said this is smoked out covers compared to actual tail lights which is pretty dope i'll say to make a huge difference so before and then after which you see here pretty soon all right so this is what it's going to look like when you unscrew it or well, the original factory had tail lights whatever you got going on back here just be pretty filthy highly recommend cleaning it just so you don't get the new product dirty as you can see right here i did this is pretty bad because i actually had to hammer the old screw because whoever did this last time I actually welded it in and i had to hammer it out which was a pain in the butt I'll show you right here oh see i don't know i don't know what to do with this but it wouldn't come off but it's hammered out um now i've got one bolt to hold this in together which i'm gonna do the middle one and go to autozone buy some new bolts so it's nice and secure so now i'm gonna do is clean it up and then put that one on and we'll get new bolts and see what happens all right everybody before it's too dark this is what it looks like as you can see only two lights work i don't know maybe when you split, i think these are the brake lights which is why we can't see them but this is what it looks like and it looks phenomenal i was mentioning before um whoever had this before me whether it was my friend or the prior owners like they welded that screw in and so let's say that happens to you or let's say if you lose some you need a crap i just had it in my pocket let's see found it was my back pocket so turn that off so you need a m6 uh to 1.0 i guess uh, you can pick this up from autozone um these are the bolts that you would need holy crap you need um can't see me at all oh well so you need a one point you need a M6 1.0 to M6 1.0 M6 to 1.0 class 10.9 hex nuts. Those are the size you would need just to let you know if you lose some. And so now basically all we gotta do is tighten everything down, uh, clean out the trunk, and then that's it. Um definitely 10 out of 10, highly recommend it. It looks phenomenal. I'm about to show my roommate Danny, and it looks sick. Like I said, it's way better than the covers just because the only thing I didn't like about the covers, don't get me wrong, they're good, but it's the adhesive tape that was on it. it Add so much on it and then like when it comes to the summer it may melt away and then the covers may fall off so i like these phenomenal i'm gonna include the link to these uh down below in the description so definitely check the guy out it's only 100, 150 bucks so it can't beat it that's gonna wrap up the video don't forget to click on the thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned for more videos your boys out